tabuns wano na yeso afo hwe e message bedwa dwumedi so but atu jechi mu se braso se afi apim han kron de okron mienu 1992 omen ye mrapo no ye be hwe na insakre bi o mi ye tumi ne ten 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 parties awu do no kra no omo mrapo no so se be ya ye nyen sakra ye ewu mu the theme towards democratic elections in december 2020 the perspectives of the national media commission and religious leaders is appropriately chosen to guide our discussions as we examine the various factors impinging on or enhancing the credibility and the conduct of elections and associated chain of events leading up to and beyond it that would engender peaceful, transparent, free, fair, and credible elections. It is, in my considered view, a happy occurrence that these two paramount bodies, the National Media Commission and religious bodies, both of whom are direct channels of communication with the citizens, should be banded together at this forum. We clergy, we are not to go there and give prophecies about those who will win. We have, we have seen what is happening in America. In Ghana, we win election through campaigning, selling our ideas, telling people to come and vote for us. And when they have voted, the Electoral Commission counts the vote and declare a winner. Nobody has got any mandate in Ghana to prophesy this party will win, as we are seeing. How can God say that Pastor A will win and Pastor B will win? It's confusion. And it's ridiculous. And uh, these are some of the things that I will also appeal to the clergy that we don't get ourselves involved in this. On behalf of GPCC, I'm saying that we have not sanctioned that. We are not party to that. And I believe that continuous prophesying about winners will create confusion. Why? My prophet said I will win. I have lost. So somebody has stolen the elections. That alone can create confusion. So I'm pleading, as we are reporting, understand the ministers and the, the pastors. Also, let we, the pastors and the leaders, should stay within our mandate. The EC is also critical. Uh, for us, we are always saying that let us have trust, confidence in the referee. Because the moment there is mistrust, there is uh, some kind of doubts about what they are doing, and then we think that what is going on is shrouded in secrecy, that is when people begin to also form their minds as to how they are going to address it. Let us trust. And this year, uh, for the Christian bodies, we can stand and say that the EC has been very, very open to us. They have responded to almost every allegation, every issue that has come up, which is a plus. And we want to say that let us all give the support and make sure that uh, we cast away all the doubts that we have about the umpire. Because once we trust them and believe that what they are doing is right, then we are all heading towards uh, peaceful elections.